99% of developers are sleeping on Kotlin, and you probably don't even know you're missing out. If your mental image of Kotlin is that language Android people use, sit down, it's time to upgrade that stereotype. I mean, it's true, Kotlin started as a pragmatic, cleaner alternative to Java for Android, but today it's way more. A modern, safe, multi-platform language that can run your backend, your frontend, and yes, still your Android app often with less pain and fewer bugs. So why should you care? Well, first, Kotlin is ridiculously practical. It's concise without being clever for cleverness' sake. You write fewer lines, which means fewer places for bugs to hide. The null safety model is built into the type system, so a whole class of runtime crashes that used to ruin weekends just don't happen as much. I mean, you have to agree that that alone makes Kotlin worth a look. And importantly, it interoperates flawlessly with Java. You don't have to rewrite your entire code base. Kotlin sits on the JVM, calls Java libraries, and lets teams adopt it incrementally. Think of it as swapping your clunky toolbox for a newer Swiss Army knife. Don't worry, Java. I still love you. Beyond syntax, Kotlin brings modern features that actually matter in production. Coroutines change how you write asynchronous code. Instead of callback hell or fragile thread pools, you get lightweight concurrency that reads like synchronous code. That means simpler, safer async logic in servers and apps. A type inference, data classes, extension functions, these aren't gimmicks. They make your code base easier to navigate and faster to iterate on. The compiler helps you catch mistakes early rather than letting them explode at runtime. In short, fewer surprises, smoother development cycles. But the real plot twist is Kotlin's reach. It's not just an Android toy anymore. Kotlin multi-platform lets you share business logic between Android and iOS and Compose UI with JetBrains Compose multi-platform. KTOR is a lightweight Kotlin native web framework that makes building backends clean and fast. Kotlin native can compile to native binaries and Kotlin runs on the JVM, on JavaScript via Kotlin JS, and on native targets. That's full stack potential without learning five different languages. Companies like Netflix, Pinterest, and others are quietly adopting Kotlin for server-side services because it gives them safety and productivity without sacrificing performance. Even Mercedes started switching to Kotlin a few weeks ago. JetBrains, the company behind Kotlin, has been investing heavily in the ecosystem, which means tools, documentation, and real corporate backing. This isn't a hobby project, it's official infrastructure. Now, I'll be honest, uh, Kotlin isn't perfect and it has adoption hurdles. The ecosystem isn't as meme-rich as JavaScripts since Fireship doesn't talk about it as often. And some libraries you love might not have Kotlin-first ergonomics. Teams with massive Java code bases sometimes prefer the devil they know. Learning any new language has a ramp, but these are trade-offs, not deal-breakers. The interoperability means you can introduce Kotlin gradually. Start with small modules or use Kotlin for new services where its advantages compound the most. Asynchronous I.O., data processing, and shared business logic across platforms. Early adopters get less noise and more productivity, and in engineering, that's a huge competitive edge. If you're curious where to start, don't jump into a rewrite. Create a small service with KTOR, Try a Kotlin multi-platform library for shared logic, or convert a Java utility class to Kotlin and see how much cleaner it gets. Use IntelliJ or Android Studio. Kotlin tooling is excellent and the refactor tools are mature. Read Kotlin's official docs and check out community libraries like Kotlin X Coroutines and KTOR. And if you want to make fun, unique projects using Kotlin or any other language that you want to improve in, why don't you use Code Crafters, today's sponsor? Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check! Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out!